Hey everyone and welcome back. If you are new here then hello, my name is Zoe and this is my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be filming my beauty empties and I haven't filmed beauty empties in ages but I am going to try and do them every couple of months this year now. So this is going to be January's and February's empties. A lot of these as well also are from my professional kit as well because I've always got empties in them, always replenishing things. Whereas I don't feel like I tend to have a lot of empties, but I have got a couple this time. So the first thing, I actually have two of the Morphe setting sprays, and I actually really like these. I've always used the Urban Decay All Nighters. These are actually from my um, professional kit. And then I switched to these because I'd heard a few nice things about them, and I absolutely love them. I like this. I do like them both, but I prefer the way this comes out. This sprays as more of like, oh, there was still a little bit in there. Comes out as like more of a mist rather than um, like a spray. Sometimes I feel like the Urban Decay one comes out quite aggressively, but these are just a really nice refreshing mist and the scent is amazing as well. So I'm gonna get new ones of them. I've switched back to the Urban Decay only because I felt like these maybe didn't last me as long in my kit, but I do really like it and all my clients really enjoyed it as well because sometimes I just drenched them in the spray at the end and they really enjoyed this because it was more of like a refreshing mist more than anything else. Next we have the ISO Clean. This is the Makeup Sanitizer Spray. I go through so much of this. I spray this on my products like every time I've used them on someone and it's just an amazing way to kind of sanitise everything. It doesn't like leave any residue on your products or anything, it's really nice. I've currently switched, I usually get the refills but I've currently switched to the smaller bottles just because this one was quite hefty to like carry around when I'm like on location and things like that. So I've switched to the smaller ones. It lasts such a long time as well. So yeah, I usually just get the refills or I'll buy the big bottle and decant it into the smaller ones. But yeah, if you're looking for a good makeup sanitizer spray, this one's amazing because again, it doesn't leave any marks or anything on your products and you can spray it on everything. I've got three deodorants. <laughs> I don't know why I've got three deodorants in here. I've been, I always use the Mitchum one, the blue one, but I switched to the pink one, I didn't like it, so I think I ran out of that one ages ago. But then my new one that I've switched to, I've got two empties, this is the Right Guard Extreme 72 Hours Protection. I really like this because it does keep me dry, and I also absolutely love the scent of this. I don't know what it is, I think it kind of almost bordering on like a men's aftershave spray. I don't know, but I absolutely love that and I found that works better for me rather than the Mitchum one. I still really like that. I think with this more than anything, it's the scent. I absolutely love it and I get like a whiff of it every now and again through the day and I absolutely lo love it. I feel like I can't smell any bad smells during the day, which is what we want. <laughs> Next, we have the Hydrogenous Aloe Water from L'Oreal. This is actually from my kit as well. I have replenished it because when I first started using it, I wasn't too sure, but then the more that I've used it on clients, I actually really like it. It sits really well under makeup and it's not too heavy, and it's also, like, not non-existent. It's really hydrating, so it's great for oily and dry skin, to be fair. I've used it on both, and I find it works absolutely fine. I have bought a new one and stuck it into my kit because I feel like it's a really good all-rounder. Smells amazing as well, and all my clients really like it when I use this on them. So that's the Hydrogenous. I've actually picked that up from myself, to be fair, to put in my skincare. I have another skincare product, which is the La Roche-Posay Tolerant Sensitive Fluid. This is always in my own skincare kit and also in my makeup kit as well. This is amazing if anyone's like a little bit more sensitive, maybe eczema prone and kind of like quite reactive to products. This is absolutely amazing. It's so nice and so soothing. It's soothing and it feels amazing on the skin as well. It's not too heavy and it's not too light it's again it's quite a nice consistency and makeup sits really well on top of it if ever i've got someone who i know is quite reactive very sensitive i always use this on them it works amazingly and if anybody's got like any redness this kind of like just use everything it's really really nice product i've used this on myself as well because i am more eczema prone and if i'm if ever i'm having like a flare-up or anything this is a really nice go-to because it is so soothing but it's not 
like too much on the skin and sometimes that can be a little bit irritating. Next we have a Laura Mercier translucent powder. Now I go through so many of these in my pro kit but in my personal collection this can last me like over 12 months so if you're thinking of getting this for yourself but don't know whether it's worth it this will last you so long and it's absolutely amazing. I use this powder on every single one of my clients whether they're more dry or more oily. I just use different amounts depending on what kind of skin my clients got but I absolutely love it it just works so well it photographs really nice and it keeps your makeup lasting all day I always recommend if you're looking for a loose powder start with this one because I don't think you can go wrong with it so that's the translucent one next we have a mascara I'm not a huge fan of this but I've used it off this is the scandalize volume on demand to be honest I've never used this before and I think that I just needed a mascara, so I just bought the randomest one that I just came across. It's a black mascara, it's nothing incredible. I usually prefer the Maybelline Falsies, that's one of my favourites for my clients. It bog standard, probably won't use again, but there we go. I've got another La Roche Posay Tolerian Fluid. This is how long this um, bag has been on my side. I've used two of these. I have two empty foundations this time. The skin base foundation is my absolute favourite for my kit because again it works on everybody and I always think it looks amazing. You can wear it more sheer or you can build it up as well so it's quite a full coverage. It's a really good all rounder. Oh I'm throwing them everywhere. I've used up the shades 6.5 and 7.5. These are, especially 7.5, are my most used shades. And I think I've probably got nearly every shade in the range now. But yeah, 6.5, 7.5 are probably one of my most used. I just think this looks beautiful on the skin. But I am looking to introduce some new foundations into my kit. I'm thinking maybe the NARS Radiant Longwear. I'm thinking of introducing that as well but these if you're starting out then this is quite a good one for your kit so that's the illamasqua skin base i have a peaches and cream pigment i use these all the time and they're my favorite and i have repurchased this one because this is my like go-to like gold pigment i like gatsby but wish which is this one it's so beautiful it's like a really nice like gold gold and I use it a lot on brides and a lot of like night out makeup as well. So when I want a gold smoky eye, I use Wish. It just looks amazing. I have a P. Louise base. Usually I use the shade 2 but I picked up one last time and I think it has been a little bit too light. So I'm going to repurchase and I'm going to buy shade 2. Because um, yeah, I think this one was a little bit too light. But again, absolute go-to. I can't really do makeup without using that to be fair. If you want your eyeshadow to last all day and you want it like the pigment to really pop then get one of these. I find it better working with this than concealer. I just find eyeshadows blend so much better over the top. They don't crease or anything, they stay put all day so I use this on myself and my clients as well. But yeah, next time I'm going to pick up shade 2 and probably do that today actually and order a new one. And then last but not least, we have a lot of concealers. These are the NYX Can't Stop or Won't Stop Concealers. I have two shades of vanilla and I have a shade ivory and light ivory. So vanilla is the one that I use on myself as well. One of these is mine and one of these is out of my kit as well. I have replenished them but I have just purchased the Tarte Shape Tapes because they were on offer. I go through so many of these, I don't think they'll last very long to be honest. I don't know whether it's the amount that I'm using but even on myself I'm finding that I'm repurchasing them all the time. I know they're inexpensive, are they about £9? Maybe a little bit more or less, I'm not sure. But I just don't think they last very long and for my kit I'd say like every few weeks I'm buying more of these. And last time I had the Tarte Shape Tapes. I found they lasted me such a long time so I switched back to the Tarte Shape Tape. I have still got a few of these because I absolutely love them but I'm going to see if they last me a little bit longer even though they are a bit more expensive. So yeah I'm going to carry on using these. I absolutely love them. I really like the consistency. It's not too matte and it's not like too dewy. Do we get dewy concealers? It's just a really nice consistency. Doesn't dry out too much either. Works really nice on mature skin 
as well. It doesn't kind of settle in any lines or anything. It's quite a good coverage with little amount of product as well, like a thin a consistency, which is really nice. So yeah, I'm gonna carry on using them. I use this on myself all the time, but I'm finding that I'm buying them all the time as well. So they are the concealers that are empty at the moment. I can't wait to recycle this bag and start to fill it up again. So that is, I think, all of my empties so far for January and February, even though they're from before anyway, it doesn't matter. I think with an empties haul as well, I can genuinely say if I really like something or if I really don't because I've used it all and you have like a good idea of what you like and what you don't like by then as well, don't you? So I really like empties haul. I hope you guys do as well. Let me know if you did down in the comments and please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next week in my next one. Bye.